Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel Card Tricks and today I want to talk to you about getting a deck of cards. I know, that seems like a really simple thing to talk about and maybe you think, well we shouldn't even talk about it. I mean, what's there to talk about? But there's a lot of talk and a lot of controversy about what makes a good quality deck of cards and I'm going to offer to you, if you're going to do card tricks, if this is going to be something that you pursue, you're going to want to get a good deck. Now, what's the difference between a good deck and a bad deck. Well, a good deck is going to handle well. And everyone has their own opinions about what handling well means. Uh, my take would be that it's done on good paper and the cards are cut well, okay? My favorite decks of cards are from Bicycle. Uh, this is the United States Playing Card Company and they're made in the USA. And they'll say that right on the tuck case. Even if it doesn't say the bicycle brand up at the top, chances are it's going to say that it's made in Erlanger, Kentucky, right there at the bottom. So even if it doesn't say bicycle, if it says Erlanger, Kentucky, then it's going to be a deck from the United States Playing Card Company. Now, a long time ago, bicycle was also in Ohio. So if you find an older deck and it says made in Ohio, uh, and it says bicycle, then those are vintage decks uh, and people swear by Ohio decks. But I'm just going to argue if you're just starting out in magic, you want to go down to your grocery store, Walmart, a drugstore, any place that sells playing cards, go over into the stationary aisle. Uh, sometimes it's even the school supplies aisle. Uh, in a bigger department store, it's going to be the same aisle where you're going to find board games and just find yourself a deck of either red or blue rider back playing cards. These are going to be the cards that everyone will recognize. These are going to be the cards that are going to match uh, any gaffes or gimmick decks you get in the future. And as far as handling goes, you just can't get much better. You really can't. Now, I know you're going to watch videos and they're going to be on YouTube or Instagram and you're going to see all kinds of uh, magicians or even cardistry experts flourish and they're going to have all of these really great designer decks. Uh, here's the Gemini Casino deck. Uh, I got a deck of the new uh, Fontaines uh, right here. I mean, you get a lot of people that swear by the cardistry decks. I got uh, the new Orbit deck right here as well. Here's the thing. These decks are all made by Bicycle. Okay, the only difference is the pattern that's been drawn on the face. That's it. If you went down to the United States Playing Card Company right now, you would see that they only have one roll of paper. They have one roll of paper that they use for all of their decks. Every single one of their decks uses the exact same paper. Exact same paper. And as far as cutting the cards, well, there's probably only two different ways that they cut their cards. So in reality, most people, especially people just starting out, you're not going to know the difference between a deck of red rider backs that come off the shelf or the Avengers playing cards from Theory 11. Now, you might like the design on these. You might like the pattern. You might think they're cool. That's fine. But as far as cards that you're going to use for magic or cards that are just going to get you through the day or cards that you're not going to care about, if you accidentally bend them or drop them, let's go with a deck of cards that's easily replaceable. Cards like these that can cost upwards of $10 to $15, sometimes even designer decks cost $20. I mean, it's great for a YouTube video, but if you're going to practice or you're going to uh, take uh, turns at bending cards in half or having your spectators write on them, you know, write their names on them, let's just go with a deck of $3 bikes. It's going to get the job done, and like I said, it's made from the same exact paper at the same exact company, okay? I mean, sure, at the end of the day, it's fun to do magic with the new Orbit deck or the Remedies deck from Daniel Madison and Daniel Schneider or to pick up some cards from Big Blind Media or the new Memento Mori deck, but like I said, at the end of the day, it's all printed on the same paper. There's really only a select few uh, people who really can tell the difference in the fibers and cut uh, from deck to deck. And chances are, 
uh, you'll get a second or third printing and maybe that deck won't feel the same as the previous printings. So my advice is you're gonna do magic. You need decks that you're gonna be able to fold, bend, practice your double lifts, practice your flourishing or have spectators write on them, write their names on them. You're better off just getting a $3 deck of cards. Um, sometimes you can even go to some of the big box stores and you can find a brick of these. You can find a whole brick. Uh, a brick would be 12 decks, okay? You can find 12 decks in a box. They're usually mixed red and blue, red and blue. Uh, and those boxes are, I think, like $13 a box. So you're almost getting a uh, dollar a deck. Um, you're, you're so much better going on with uh, a deck like this, I think, in my opinion. And then maybe over time, as you get better, uh, you can splurge and pick up some of these novelty decks or collector decks. But my, for my dollar, uh, I'm always going to come back to a red deck of Rider Backs. Don't don't feel bad if, if this is your deck of choice because it's because it's my deck of choice and it's the deck of choice uh, for magicians all over okay but let's say you want to buy a magic deck so this would be a deck of cards that does a specific magic trick okay it's a gimmick deck a trick deck a gaff deck again i'm gonna say look for the bicycle logo brand look for the words air cushion finish look for the words made in the usa look for the words erlanger kentucky if it doesn't say those, chances are you're gonna get an inferior product, something that's perhaps uh, a made in China deck or uh, something that's made at a subpar printing company. You don't want cheap paper. You don't want a cheap cut on your deck, okay? That is gonna be the thing that separates a good deck from a poor deck. And they're out there. They are out there. There are uh, magicians who have cheapened out and they've had their magic deck printed on a inferior paper. Um, it does. It makes all the difference in the world. Because the reality is when you get your deck out, you're going to want cards that glide across the mat, right? You're going to want to be able to spread your cards and have them be perfectly seen, each card individually, and that you can push the cards out like this and so they don't, so notice how they don't clump up, they don't stick in little groups. There's little pockets of air in between these cards that allow them to push and manage very well. You want cards they are gonna handle beautifully and that'll group back up nice and neat, have really smooth cut corners, uh, and you're gonna want to hear that beautiful sound when you riffle through them. You don't want them to clump up, so make sure you get cards Made in the USA, Erlanger, Kentucky. Look for that bicycle brand, and I promise you, you will have a good deck of cards to do magic with. All right, that's everything I wanted to say. I probably went on way too long, but get out there, get yourself a good deck of cards, scroll through some of these videos, and find some magic tricks for yourself to learn. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, especially if you want to learn some really simple card tricks that anyone can do using props uh, that you find around the house, or, uh, like I said, a deck of cards. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.